Saturday was a good day for us. Um, held them to 31 yards rushing. We ran the ball for over 250. Uh, had great contributions from Sean Thompson, all-purpose yards. I think he was somewhere around 130. Um, got to hear Cruz, uh, senior running back, back off of injury. He had about 95 yards and, and kind of broke their back with a long one at the end uh, in the fourth quarter. Defensively, we played really well. Gave up four plays throughout the course of the game. Uh, three screens on one drive that they took in and then a you know, a 50-50 ball um, that, that we just didn't come down with. Other than that, we had them uh, pretty hemmed up the whole day, and the guys played really hard in front of a big crowd. Um, nice atmosphere. Uh, it was a good day for football. We beat the storms. Um, we got out just in the nick of time before the weather, you know, came to Chester. Um, this weekend, we're on the road down at Stevenson. Um, you know, I've been telling our guys all week long, don't, don't be scoreboard watching. Don't don't look at the records. It's not indicative of, of, of the type of team that Stevenson University is. Uh, they they have three losses early on in the season to top top 15 teams in the country in Johns Hopkins, RPI, and Delaware Valley. So they're a very talented football team. Uh, senior quarterback, um, skill positions, four or five wide receivers who, with the ball in their hands in space, can do damage to you at any time. Um, and then a, you know an opportunistic defense that, that flies around and makes a lot of plays. So. We have our hands full. Um, it's their homecoming, uh, so we got to go down there and, and, and play our best uh, our best football at this time of the year. Are you, you know, you talk about Cruz coming back. Are you getting healthier, or you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean get Cruz back. That 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 helps us. Um, we've had a tough year. We've had about um, five uh, knee injuries that have put guys out for for the season. Um, and uh, it, it's been tough. Three of them happened in one week, week two. So we, we've been without those guys. Um, it's just part of the game. Sad for those guys, you know. But the show goes on. We got we got other guys that step up and, and help us, uh, you know, make plays. But getting to hear back is great. Um, he, he's as you know a veteran leader. Um, you know, understands um, you know how to prepare and, and how to help other guys prepare. Um, as far as getting healthy, you know, it's we, we haven't had a bye week uh, yet. Our bye week is, is after the Stevenson game, so it's been a long, long, tough year, and, and we got our nicks and bumps and bruises. But you know, if you if you want to play, you know, big time football and, and play until late in November and December, then you got to push that stuff aside and and, uh, and continue to play well, regardless of how you feel. Coach, can you talk about how much of a boost it gave the team to be able to beat the what was the number one team in the conference? Yeah, I mean it, it's it's huge. They came in undefeated, five and zero. We knew what was at stake to try and you know keep ourselves in the hunt after dropping one to FDU a couple weeks ago. Um, we try to buy into the the mentality that they're a faceless opponent and we're playing against ourselves and the standard. But I think our kids understood, um, you know, Wilkes and their quarterback and um, and those type of things. Um, you know, our guys got something to prove. They were five and zero. We haven't played them in a while, um, so you know our team believed that. Yeah, they're undefeated, and we had one loss, but they hadn't played Widener yet. And I think we went out and controlled the game, and and uh, you know, are the better team, and we're the better team uh, last Saturday. All right, thank you.